We are constantly reminded of the need for donated blood to help save lives, but it's not just donated blood that is the issue. The Inova Heart and Vascular Institute has an innovative program it says will reduce the need for donated blood and blood product transfusions. It can also improve medical outcomes and safety while cutting costs. Dr. Alan Spear is the medical director for cardiac surgical services at Inova Health System, and the doctor is with us this morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Doctor. Good morning. A couple of things at work here. Not the least of which is, you sort of went back and looked at the whole cardiac surgery operation. Uh, you're, you're operating on the heart and, and the, the blood vessels there, and you would think that, the, that blood transfusions are an important part of those kinds of procedures. But the closer you looked, the more you thought maybe we don't have to be doing as many transfusions as we have in the past. That's uh, totally correct. The, the facts are is that transfusions are a vital part of, of many cardiac procedures uh, to the point where about 60 to 70 percent of open heart surgery nationwide is using some transfusion protocol. We did find, however, in subsequent data that there may be some negative aspects of transfusions and we wanted to try to mitigate those adverse outcomes and so we did design and develop some protocols for use both in the operating room and post-operatively De to decrease such component so, therapy. So you've been, you, you went back, looked at the, at the big picture, how you were doing things, and changed uh, how you were doing it. How's it working out so far? We've reduced our transfusion overall from about 67% to 28%. That's dramatic. And that with an overall savings in 2007 alone of $5.8 million to the healthcare system. So this was a, another example of both improving the outcome while reducing the cost. Let me underscore that transfusions are still safe. It's still vitally necessary, particularly uh, in trauma-related and orthopedic procedures, but at least in my specialty, this was a vital uh, necessity. And all of this comes at, a, at a, a, an important time in this nation's uh, uh, history. We're looking now at, at spending huge sums of money for health insurance for everyone. We're not getting into that, but this sort of critical self uh, appraisal that your operation went through is something would you recommend it to other institutions I mean, is this the kind of thing we ought to be looking more closely at what we've been doing and and maybe it's not just what we've always done maybe there are better ways out there well absolutely the ANOVA has been uh, one of the guiding lights in putting together all the cardiac surgical programs in the Commonwealth of Virginia and we took this protocol and were able to extend it across a region to try to see if we could achieve, achieve the same outcomes across Virginia as we're doing in our institution. Really some very interesting stuff going on over there and I think this is just we're sort of uh, at the tip of the iceberg here. It'd be interesting to, to see how this is going on down the road. Doctor, thank you so much. We appreciate your joining us. Thank you very much. This time.